Morning David, at Friday night at Mooney Valley, race one over the mile, of Fennessy has drawn barrier 11. Uh, yes, uh, he was not beaten far. It's a bit harder this time. Um, I don't, I'm a bit worried about the run you'll get from the awkward gate. Packing Empire on the quick backup in race three over 3,000, narrowly defeated last Saturday. Yeah, I liked his fight to the line. Um, he kept kicking back strongly. Um, I think 3,000 will really suit him and he's got a really bright future as a potential young jumper. Nouvelle again, he's first up in race four over 1,200. Yeah, she's uh, uh, first up, working and trialling well. Drawn a little bit awkwardly, um, hates the wet tracks. Hopefully with this hot weather about, she'll get a nice firm track. Uh, the Spitfire's had a freshen up. He runs in race five over 1,200. Yes, yeah, so I, I, we've tried, to, tried him over a mile and we're just taking a view that he's a fresh sprinter and I think he'll sprint well, fresh, and surprise a few people. This idyllic runs in race seven over the thousand. Yeah, she got wiped out by the wet track at Flemington, so hopefully we get a nice firm track and she'll bounce back into form. And last start winner, Embrace the Rock, runs in race nine over the mile. Yeah, she's gonna have to have a lot of luck. She's drawn wide, um, she'll be ridden patiently and looking for runs. On to Saturday, uh, Ballarat, in the first impulsive spirit, runs over 1100, drawn out in 17. Yes, a terrible barrier, but I think with the blinkers on, we might ride him really cold and and produce him late, and it could work. There will be a bit of speed in this race, and you might be able to come from the back. Purple Smile races in the third, over 2300. Yes, um, we've got to take a sit right on the pace, and he creates his own luck. Very fit horse. Also, Honey Steel's Gold runs in the third. Got his blinkers back on. Uh, I was disappointed with his last run, but this is his ideal distance. I think Opal Chief has had a month between runs. He runs in the sixth over a mile. Another one that's drawn a bit awkwardly, uh, but he likes a bit of galloping room when he goes, so it shouldn't affect him. Lotion first emergency in the sixth. Hope he gets a run, drawn perfectly, uh, ready to win. Row seven, Moonlight Hustler, second up over the 1100, barrier 14. Yes, um, he's won a race coming from the back, and from that wide barrier, we're obliged to go back. So look for him running home strongly. Cross of gold, fourth emergency, probably unlikely to get a run. Unlikely to get a run. Closing out the day at Ballarat, race 10 over 1200 is Pago Rock. Yes, um, another one drawn wide. We're having a poor run with the barriers. Uh, he'll probably, we'll ride him a little bit differently and let him come from the, off the pace as well. Group one racing in Perth on Saturday, uh, where we have two runners, race six at Ascot, the WA Guineas over a mile. He's our Rocky, second favourite, $5. Yes, he's a horse that never draws well. It's a common theme this weekend. But um, I really like him. I, th I think he's a class horse on the way up. Huge run against the bias at Flemington. I like his chances. Always hard measuring up Perth form to Melbourne form. And Fast and Rocking is on the second line of betting in the Group 1 winter bottom over 1,200. He's $7. Yeah, look, he should be one of the favourites in the race. He, With clear running, he could have ran second in the Group 1 last start, and he's been set for this. So good barrier. Um, fingers crossed. And your best of the weekend, David? I like he's our Rocky. I think he's a very good up and coming young horse.